and their partners for supplying that, making us uh, let's have a bit of fun during this broadcast. You've supported us very, very well here. And we can see from the tweets and the posts at RadioLamont.com on the forum that you've really taken this race to your heart with the excess of coverage that we've had here on Motors TV. And a little note here to Fred Vigier and everybody in Paris in the Reggie who took the decision to air this race. It's a big commitment to do any kind of full coverage, full live coverage of endurance racing, particularly so obviously on a 24-hour race. So well done to the guys at Motors TV for deciding to make that. And also for getting us involved to come out here and be uh, a part of it. You're absolutely right. Motors TV with a big commitment to endurance racing across the season. More to come from that. Watch MotorsTV.com and more American racing on MotorsTV.com as well. The trailers are already playing for some of the stock car content you'll be able to see on Motors this uh, season over there in Europe. And whilst we have just a, a couple of laps to go, as we do when we do Le Mans, our thanks to the technical team here, including Bubba Clark, Clark of Speed, Chris Carter and the NASCAR tech boys who have helped us out and our colleagues at MRN on the broadcast and the technical side. Steve for doing the catering and uh, the boys in the studio, Graham Goodwin, Joe Bradley, Paul Truswell, Jeremy Shaw, who we seem to do rather a lot of. White flag next time by. Charles holds up the flag sign. Jeremy Shaw, my... Uh, American commentary partner it seems to be and also to assistant responsible adult Sam Burns who's uh, done a great job in keeping us fed and of course Eve Hewitt our managing director and responsible adult that's been our team here you have kept us going through the night with tweets and everything like that brilliant stuff I've enjoyed this race I didn't really know what to expect I've been here as a spectator and watched most of the race before but when you're engrossed in it by working on it, you see it in a different light. And this has been a good one. The fans here have clearly turned out in their tens of thousands. I will not easily forget the mile and a half, two mile line of cars to get around the circuit yesterday morning. And just over five miles now Jeremy for this number 60 car and it's at this point they're all got their fingers crossed they've got their fuel calculations right yeah Michael Shank there and uh, there's uh, going to be a lot of emotion here in a few minutes yes there white is out, white, flag white flag is out white flag is out uh, there Os it is Osnegri and John Pugh the best of the One team time. part of this year's season long programme Justin Wilson part of the effort as well they've got four podium finishes between those four drivers in the past here but uh, not yet the W and they're now within three and a half miles of that wonderful achievement so on the last two uh, can't afford to relax so I mean yeah, he's, no, only, no, God, no. he's only just over six seconds behind him so you know he's got to keep focused and he has been letting the gap come down, hasn't yes. he, Jeremy? Over the last uh, five or six laps, it was up in the eight, nine seconds, and uh, yep. he's let it come over down. 11, over 11, and that's exactly what he said he was going to do, isn't he? He asked how fast Ryan DL was going, OK, okay I'll back it down a little bit. And that, that's a trick in itself, isn't it? Just backing mm -hmm. it down by the right amount. Masterful drive. Mate, he's a class act, day job, and he goes a Team USA scholarship winner. He's won Barber Dodge, he's won Atlantic, he won Champ Car Races. The first win in Sprint Cup has to be not far away and a terrific result as well for the other Michael Shank car number six which uh, Felipe Nazar has certainly uh, covered himself in a good deal of glory Michael McDowell uh, doing some good drives as well Georgi Gonzalez and Gustavo Yakaman uh, keeping their ends up as well throughout the 24 hours uh, and that was a surprise to me to get that car up into third place so uh, uh, well done to them in the uh, and it makes it a, a dream result really for the Michael Shank racing team. Three drivers 20 years or younger. Yes. My name is on your head, baby. You're going to look real good. Off the banking for the final time. Bring him home, Jeremy. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm overcome with emotion here almost because AJ, he's, I've uh, known the kid since he first started his race. I saw him drive 
uh, when he was driving go-karts, he drove uh, an IndyCar and a little test around a parking lot at Fontana Speedway for Bobby Rahal's team. So I know how much this means to him. What a magnificent job by Michael Shank Racing, by AJ Omendinger, by Justin Wilson, by Oz Negri, by John Pugh. This is a thoroughly well-deserved victory, John. Yeah, one of the Team USA scholarship boys coming through big in a big race. And the GT as well, I think. Uh, Andy Lowry is going to be part of the GT with it to be third Rolex watch. And what a fabulous job, too, for Magnus Racing. Louis. The battle in GT has been every bit as hard fought as the battle in Daytona prototypes. Fantastic race as they come through. That car actually looks in pretty good shape as it came across the line and confirms the victory for Michael Shank Racing in the 60. Ford Riley, the Starworks Motorsport Ford Riley in second place, the Paul City car, and here comes the Magnus Racing car. And indeed, it's uh, Richard Lights at the wheel of this car. He's been a master. He's from Europe, he's from Austria. He's been a long-time foot Porsche factory driver, uh, and uh, this is going to be the biggest win in his... Well, he's won at Le Mans before, and now he adds a Daytona 500, Daytona 24 hours win as well. Look what it means to Magnus Racing and John Potter and his crew. There, a set of people in the early stages of very bad headaches. As the well, they can't change that livery now, can they? <laughs> now they've taken the green out of the car, they've gone for grey, and grey has won the day for them. 84,600 seconds of racing ends with the gap between first and second, somewhere in the region of five of those seconds. The AJ Almendinger brings it home for Michael Shank Racing. Five seconds ahead of Ryan T.L.